What's going on, Southside? I'd like to welcome everybody to this next episode of the We Could Talk Basketball and Music Podcast. Today's guest is my brother, Big Maz, from Maz Solutions, also Maz Maintenance. The, um, today's topic um, I wanted to get on is, will hip-hop survive? With all the latest events, uh, with the takeoff murder, with um, the Young Dolph murder, and the, list, the Mo3 murder, the list goes on and on. Um, the question is posed to us today, will hip hop survive? So my brother, let's start right there. You gotta excuse my background noise because I'm always in different spots. Um, so bro. let's just let's go with it, man. Um, do you think hip hop will survive with all of this stuff, bro? Man, hip hop has no choice but to survive. It's all stages and we all going through different eras. Um, but, you know, I think it's up to the OGs to kind of set it up for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's up OGs, to the OGs. OGs, in, us. OGs as in former rappers or as in fathers? I mean, no, OGs as in men. As former as men. Old. Just men. Right, like, right, right. We're raising our sons into this 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 industry and they they're following it. So it's up to us to keep the guidance in place. You know what I'm saying? I mean, right. some of us right. uh, are street dudes that know how to street work. And I just feel like, you know, we just have to continue to put influence on the youngest. I feel like, um, you know, we're going to... You know what, my brother? Like, with these kids today, it, it's a... Let's say we ask them to do different kinds of music and, and not go into the hood with their music. Um, then their audience is going to turn away from them because their audience is expecting that because it's been driven into their psyche for so long. And actually, even into our psyche back when we were doing music. Um, do, do you feel like do you feel like maybe by if the radio, if the record label asked them to change, would that influence it? Or would it influence it more if they yeah, put it out we have more positive? Them in a way, we have to influence them in a way to be creative without using guns. To be creative without right. fucking hoes and, and slapping bitches. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Just be creative in that way. Like, be more um, intelligent with the things that we do and actually, you know, respect the crowd. Like, respect the forefathers of this thing, man, where creativity was 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 definitely the most important thing. I think where we lost ourselves was basically with the street mixing into hip hop. You know, that's where we lost ourselves. Like just that's something I don't wanna say who did it because people getting blackballed right now, but yeah, we gotta we gotta focus back on ourselves, man. That's it. Well, I'm gonna say who did it. Um Universal Music Group, um, Warner, Interscope, all, them guys. all, them guys. all the big boys did it by putting out music that that promotes negative, that promotes negative energy, that promotes negative frequency. Um, I'm sure they get tons of demos, tons of artists in their office on a daily basis. And a lot Man, of them are yeah. probably talking that gun talk and that kill talk. Big but world. I also, like, I also where, where the artist said, like, just talking about like Tupac. Yeah. No, hold tight. no, hold tight, no, brother. But I also, but I also, but I also feel like they also get a lot of positive rappers walking through that door. Positive yes, demos as well. Yes, they just choose to promote the drill music. They choose to promote yes, the death and killing. Yes, you know, um, that's how I feel. Like, so I, I do feel like there is positive rappers, but I don't feel like they're pushing them onto the platform. Uh-oh. No, a little of my function. It's all right. I'm still here. Um, I agree with you 100%. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. And I feel like that's why we got to put ourselves in positions to be able to be um, able to have, have control so that we can promote the positivity and make it, I mean, um, for instance, um, J. Cole, for some reason, he tends to keep himself out of the way. And, you know, by me being a Carolina dude, um, I represent all the Carolina dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're standing on, on that Carolina shit. 
So, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, creativity, you know what I'm saying, with your bars and then stand on what you, you know, like we ain't pushing that gun shit. We ain't pushing that gun shit. We got to protect ourselves at all times, but ultimately it's about raising our kids and being grandfathers and being great grandfathers and, and being great, you know, being uncles and great uncles and all of that stuff and being able to provide guidance. That's why I stand on that, like with everything. I got young kids. I got, I mean, I got some, some, my kids in their 20s and they in music and stuff, but I instilled in them to, you know what I'm saying, protect yourself, but also don't be a bully. You know what I'm saying? Don't look for the troubles. Get away from it. So, yes, sir. Yeah, no, nothing good comes to the bully. That's for damn sure. Nothing good comes um, to the bully. Yeah, nothing good comes to the bully. Nothing but a, uh, a, a, a grandfather's tale that you got for your grandkids. That's you know, it. How you, how, you, how, you, how you stood up to the bully. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and swing into a few more things on this because this is the We Could Talk Basketball podcast. And you got to excuse me. There were some kids running around. I, have I love everything. If you want to know right. right now, you only have to ask a question. I'm blackballing the NBA because of what they did to Kyrie. It's, it's, just, it's just it's unreal. And I'm a black man. Yeah, you see, listen, hold on. Let me tell you all what this means. Yeah, I do that. Well, well for that okay, so that right there has multiple layers as far as that shirt goes. Um, but I'm gonna dive into some NBA questions on what you may know from what you the last time you did visit the NBA. Um, and it's basically it's very general questions, very general. Uh, because it's the We Can Talk Basketball podcast, I kind of got a forum I do. Um, who are your top five NBA players? And it doesn't have to be today. It could be of, it's of all time. And this list can fluctuate from interview to interview. My top so five players are right Ashley. now. Where are we at right now? My top five, five players are actually Little Dog. You know, um, I, I I don't know. I just I'm just a I'm just a Little Dog type type fan. So, you know, I got a. Uh, Jordan, of course. Um, Allen Iverson. Um, Baron Davis. Oh wow! Oh wow! That's a different. That's a different one. That's a different one. That's a very different. I just, I'm just a root. I'm just, I'm just, a, I'm just, I just root for the little dog. You know what I'm saying? They doing big things, so. Brian Davis, you know what I'm saying? Uh, That's three. three. Um, KD, I like I like his intentions. Um, and Tracy McGrady. T Mac. Yeah, Tracy McGrady was my guy. You know what I mean? So it's just That's uh, a very very unique list. And and I like you know, it because if you put on the same team, it, it'll be a whole problem. <laughs> I like it because every guest that comes on has a different list of, you know, their top five. And that's a very unique list. Um, I didn't expect. I mean, if you ask me crazy. like, if you ask me like all around this defensive and all this stuff, like I'm a big Alonzo Morning fan as far as like block shocking, um, Dennis Rodman. I mean, it just levels as far as like, who are my greats in certain positions, but it's overall like just excitement, like just a, yeah, those them guys gonna always give you that. Got you. Like I told you, I'm out here in the street. So I'm, excuse the background noise. All right, yeah, so cool. all right, that's your top five. Okay. So yeah. who do you think is the most who do you think is the, the, the number one NBA player right now? Who who's at top who's at the top of the helm right now? Who do you think? Right who, who do you think the best player in the NBA is today? I w I'm gonna tell you, listen, this is not I wanna say something different, but I'm gonna just say what's politically correct. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna say LeBron James for the simple fact that his control of business and control of management and the things that he has going on, he is the most uh, pertinent 
You know what I'm saying? In the league right now. I, who I got the bag, though? You know what I'm saying? Who got that bag? Who's got, who's got the most – who's got the best assist game, the best shot? Who's got who's got that bag, brother? Who who's got the game? They could be mm. poor. Who's got game, bro? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you. Oh, man, I don't want to do this because that dude that, that that dude out of Memphis, Moran. John Moran. John listen, Moran. listen, listen. That's that's I'm my big. dude, man. That's my dude. Yeah. I John love Moran the way he is. do it. Like you know, I'm on Miami Heat. Like my team in the NBA is Miami Heat, so I'm a Dwayne Wade type dude. Like as far as slashes and bank, you know what I'm saying? Like right. I told you, like in my top five, Baron Davis was in there because I like slashes and bangers. AI, you know what I'm saying? Because I know he crossed Jordan up and broke his ankles. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. The, my reasons is because niggas saw greatness before them and said, "Nigga, I don't care." You know what I'm saying? Like them niggas, I don't even give. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do me. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay. Tracy McGrady, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, man. And Grant Hill, listen, I will never forget those back to back dunks in the finals with Duke, with Grant Hill. You know what I mean? Like, I'm talking about off the top. Of, come on, man. Godly. If you don't, if you're yeah. in the Carolina, dude, then you don't know, man. But I think the world know about Grant Hill. And how great he is, and why he stayed on the bench and never played the game. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of shit. Grant Hill was very impressive, man. He, he was, man, he was the man. Vince Carter was out the same class. You know what I mean? Like it's just a lot of dudes. Man. Now Vince had longevity. Antoine, Antoine uh, Jameson. Um, yeah, that was a very important class. Vince had longevity. Grant Hill, man, that 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 was such a disappointment. Because his career was cut so short by injury, that that was a disappointment. But but he did have skills. Right, right. Nah, he he had, he was he was in a potential. You know what I'm saying? Like his potential was great. Uh, he just couldn't. His bombs ain't at right. <laughs> That's how. Like as, I'm dealing with it right now. Forty six. You know what I mean? Shit. Well, you some people aren't. Well, no, nah, my bones okay. But I mean, you know, I can't go out and play ball eighty uh, eighty two game season. I, I right. couldn't do that. I right. couldn't right. do a. Uh, I probably couldn't play basketball two weekends in a row. I'd have to rest. Uh, okay, so let's move. Let's move along a little bit. Here's sure. where we change it up just a little bit. We're gonna shift gears. This is what I call the shotgun question. Yeah, you might want to light up for this one. Uh, it. It's a pretty. Quick, it's a pretty quick. Uh, pretty quick transition. It's a pretty quick. Uh, situation. Ready. Just whatever comes to the top of your head when I give you the two names, you let me you let me know if which one. You know, pick which one. And we're gonna we're gonna no no explanation is needed. You ready? Yeah. Kevin Hart, Cat Williams. Cat Williams. Beyonce or India Irie. Woo, boy, let me tell you so. That's serious. I think I go, hey. honestly, I think I go with Indy Irie. Floyd Mayweather or Mike Tyson? Mike. Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos? Joe. Four o'clock or five o'clock? Four. Spaghetti meal or steak meal? Mm, I love them both. Um, spaghetti. Happy in love or love being happy? I love being happy. Okay. We're getting ready to end it up with, 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 with uh, all right, that was the shotgun question. Appreciate Pretty it. Pretty dope. Good answer, yeah, brother. Sure. All right, so usually, um, why don't you let Why don't you let everybody know what you're into? What um What your future plans are, and and um like what What can we look forward to from Big Mass? Well, Big Mass right now, I got uh Mass Solutions, which is a maintenance company. It's a solution company. It's not necessarily maintenance, but it's about everything. Um, I have Mass Maintenance, which is a total maintenance company. Um, 
And I have Mass Entertainment, which we all about entertainment. I got some young talent that's coming up soon. And, you know, uh, Connect World, shout out to y'all. AWP forever. Y'all already know, man. Like, it's just, we just start not trying to figure it out. But, you know, uh, uh, small moves for big, uh, I don't know what the word I'm using. Well, this, you know what I'm saying? Big, big positions, man. Okay. All right. Here we are with the final question. Final question. This is that. And this is gonna be this is gonna be yeah, this is that too, man. Or that's this. This is definitely that. All right. Yeah, this is definitely this, man. Um yes, Here's the big question, man. Where are the waters deeper? In Florida or North Carolina? Oh, the, oh, definitely in Florida. You know, I've been out in Florida for 20 years, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm born and I'm a weight medical baby, so don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Born and bred out of this thing, but man, I ain't never seen nothing so deep. I done seen the water turn black. Man, look, look, look. <laughs> okay, so, look. Okay, so here's here's where Here's where the debate comes in. So scientifically, the reason waters are blue in Florida is because the rays of sun reflect off shallower waters. That's no, why the waters I, I agree with that. The same exact that waters because... that are in North Carolina. They're the same exact waters that are here. They're the same waters. But they're shallower there, meaning that's why that's why the suns when the nah, rain hit the water, that that's sense. why you get blue water. That's why you get nah, blue and green. You get, you get no. visuals of blue and green. So actually, the water is deeper here in North Carolina. That's why it looks brown. No, the the water is well, green because all the algae and all that stuff. No, on the bottom of the water. it's dirty. No, let me no. explain something to you. Listen, Florida is the tropics. It's part of the Bahamas, Cuba, all of these things like, you know what I'm saying, that's in the Atlantic Ocean that's uh, tropical. You know what I'm saying? Coral reefs and things of this nature, you know what I'm saying? But then, like, if you look at the news right now today, it'll be, you know what I'm saying, 63 degrees a day, and it'll be it'll be 94 in Florida. You know what I'm saying? Like, out there, like, Fort Lauderdale, Palm Beach, like, shit like that. So, you understand the sun sit on top of the situation is different. I learned this from being a Carolina boy, moving down though. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to put you on game. Man, the water deep out there, man. That shit deep, deep. I mean, I mean we got to take our trip I, out there so I can show you. I mean, like, you know, I just, um, I, you know, you have to Google it. You'd have nah, to Google it. You ain't got to Google it. You got to Look, you got to go together. I mean, I understand I'll what the visual. I, I understand what the visual eye tells you, but your eye is only a human eye. Right. That's only a human eye. So what I'm saying right. is, I'm going with the facts. I'm going with the. I, I googled it prior. That's why I, before I did the the question, I looked into it and I was like, "This is a great question for the man." Uh, you got right. that right there. Is politicized, bro. That's politicized. That company nah, is political. Ain't, ain't no politics, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, that, ain't there's no, no need to ain't blast that company. Crowd, that, company that company is politicized. It's not a movement. It's a company. Right. I got you. That's yes, not sir. cool. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, man, I appreciate you coming out, my brother. Yo, we're going to uh, have a very I personal interview. I did too, bro. Um, and and at, I'm going to come and check you out. And we're going to sit down and chop it up. And we're going to introduce your your podcast to the world, which is the Brown Liquor Lounge. I mean, excuse me. Oops. Your podcast Look, to the world. Woo, is pop, don't pop, do that, y'all. Hey, Pop Pop, yeah. as a dog coming soon to you. Pop Pop, uh, as a dog coming soon to you. And uh, and we can chop it up and, and let the people know what you got going on on that. Appreciate it, bro. All right, bro. Until next time. Everybody take it easy. This is the We Can Talk Basketball Podcast. Yeah, peace to everybody. Love, man. Love.